from Sussex in England, they arrived here in 1833, just after the settlers, and we've been farming the land now for six generations. I didn't want to follow everybody else, I thought I want something different. And you might have noticed the real big trees on the farm are all the same species and they are called Bourbon in Afrikaans, which we translate as farmer bean. So we chose the Latin name, which is Scotia. Peter Bean has just introduced a herd of six elephants onto the reserve. It is the first time elephants will have been there since 1935. I feel it's a vital a component of the game reserve and they belong here. You know, it's, it would be a vacuum without them. However, as night falls over Scotia, the new arrival set about destroying many of the precious trees planted by Peter's ancestors. When morning arrives, Peter examines the destruction wreaked by the elephants. They have demolished two old sweet fig trees which lie next to the central scotia of the reserve. Urgent measures are needed in order to prevent any further damage. Back at the lodge, Peter researches ways to prevent the elephants from destroying the trees that have stood on the land for generations. It is crucial that he finds a solution in order to protect the history of the reserve. Uh, we've done some research and there's a lady uh, from England, Dr. Lucy King, and she's run a whole project and did her thesis on Kenya about 10 years ago. They spotted um, trees from the air uh, via satellite images and realized that certain trees aren't been hammered by the elephants. And when they went to look, they discovered that those trees actually had a swarm of bees in. Peter has implemented some hives under the major scotias of the reserve and hopes they will be enough to deter the elephants. Later that night, Peter is informed the bull elephant of the herd has gone into must. Must is a periodic condition where levels of testosterone in a male elephant can rise by 60% and is characterized by aggressive behavior. This will put Peter's beehives to the test, as the reserve scotias are more vulnerable than ever. A few days later, the bull elephant nears the reserve's prized scotia. Will Peter's bees be enough to deter him? As the sun rises over Scotia, Peter Bean and his family are relieved the future of the trees is, for now, assured. They cannot know how long the elephants will be deterred, but in the meantime, the bees are acting as guardians to the ancient Scotia trees. You don't own the land, you actually only are temporarily, and you, in theory you're borrowing the land from your kids, not getting it from your father, you know. You just go to look after it and do the best you can while you're here and it's a priceless asset. They're not making more land. Um, it was my dream not to sell and keep it and no matter what and I hope the next generation and following generations do the same. <laughs> <laughs>